Hello and welcome to Vibe Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about how to integrate Google Meet with your Vibe app. So first you need to download Google Meet plugin, which you can download from the WPLMS add-ons in the Google Meet. So once you have downloaded and installed Vibe Google Meet plugin, you will see that in YBP settings, we see a Google Meet tab. In this Google Meet tab, you need to enter your Google Calendar ID and Google Calendar API key. To generate this, you will need to follow this link and you will land on the Google, Google Cloud page wherein you'll see all the APIs that you have activated. So in here you have to enable this API, Google Calendar API for your project. If you've not created one, you have to create one. And then under this API, after enabling this API, you will need to capture the credentials of your Google Cloud project and you'll have to create an API key and a client ID from the auth 2.0. Note, we don't need the client secret because every time the user is going to create the meeting, he will be required to authenticate from his Google account. So this allows you to connect multiple Google accounts for every meeting. So let's see how it works. Once you've activated Google Meet and uh, configured the settings. Next step is that we need to go to the appearance menus and add the Google Meet into our app menu. Now app menu is the profile menu and if we have configured profile menu for different member types in your site then you will also need to add the Google Meet according to the user. So here I have added this Google Meet from the BuddyPress member. So this is the Google component I added and I removed the meetings uh, label. If you're not seeing this BuddyPress member, then you can enable it from screen options, BuddyPress member. Only these components are added in the profile menu because we have built them uh, for the app and we can save this menu. After saving this menu, we need to go to the YBP settings. And in the settings, we will go to the BuddyPress. And we will refresh this BuddyPress navigation. Now this is required whenever we add a new component so that the BuddyPress navigation is regenerated. So that BuddyPress navigation is regenerated. Now let's get back. So here you can see in our app, we can see that the Google Meet is available. And here you can create Meet and these are your shared meetings, group meetings or course meetings. You can view from here and manage meetings as well. So here I've created a couple of meetings. Let's see how it works. So here I'm going to create a meeting. And this can be a description for the meeting. So you can describe what all things uh, the user should be prepared for while attending this meeting or what the meeting is all about. And here you can set the time for the meeting. So here we have 1 p.m. Let's see. You can also manually change this. And this can be a shared meeting. If this is a shared meeting, then you can search for the member. And select the members to which you want to send the invite to. Otherwise, you can search for group or course. And submit this meeting. Note that when you are submitting this meeting, you will see a Google pop-up, which is going to show you the accounts from which you want to create the meeting. So here we'll select the account 
and since this is a local host installation the Google has not been able to verify this app but I can still go ahead and create the meeting this one and continue so now the meeting is created so there are 11 seconds remaining for this meeting this is the manage meeting for the uh, meetings and this is the my meetings because I have shared the same meeting with myself now now for upcoming meetings you'll see a start and end date along with meeting title and description for the meeting along with the timer in how much time the meeting is going to start and if you edit this meeting you will be able to set the time again and edit this meeting So as soon as the meeting status turns to meeting running, if we click on it, you can see that we get this button start meeting. And when we click on the start meeting, we see two buttons open meeting and open meeting in a new tab. And you can allow notifications and join the meeting. So that's it from Vibe Tutorials. Thanks for watching.